Hi boys and girls, Georgie here. We are excited because we are ready to do another preschool session. Okay, we've got lots of things planned today. So can you make sure that you've got mommy or daddy watching so that you are nice and safe with everything that you're doing? Going to need um, a water bottle so you can have, or a drink of water so that you can stop and have a little break for a drink. You are going to need lots of energy. So can you show me if you've got lots of energy? Jump up and down, yay! Got lots of energy. You're going to need a little toy so that we can do our warm up stretches with our animals, and you're going to need something that you can use as a balance beam and something that you can throw something into, and something that you can balance on top of your head. Okay, right. Can you go and ask mum and dad and dads to help you get those things and then come back and we'll get started? Okay, we're going to have lots and lots of fun. Um, and see if your brothers and sisters can join in and join you doing um, your class today. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to get started on our warm up. We need to get our bodies nice and warm, okay? So, what we're going to do today um, is we're going to get out some shape cards, okay? I'm not sure, some of you will remember these, okay? These are some shapes from, oh, so, um, these are some um, of the illustrations from um, my book, Sarah Katie Wants to Be a Gymnast, okay? And so we've got Candlestick, we've got uh, Present, we've got Straddle Sit, we've got L Sit, Motorbike, Straddle Sit again, Rocket. Star, Superman, oh, Bridge, and Tuck Sit. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put I'm going to put these down on the floor, face down like this. Okay, like this, and we're going to run around the floor. And I'm going to pick one up, and then I'm going to show you what it is, and you have to do it. Okay. Mums and dads might be able to help you. So, are we ready? Let's get started. Let's, can we run on the spot like this? Can we run around the room? Let's go run in. That's it, let's go run in. Good work, keep running. Oh, can we change direction? Let's go the other way. Go the other way. Good work, running, 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 running. And stop. Oh, okay, I'm gonna pick up a card. Oh, I'm gonna go for this one. What is it, what is it? Oh, it's a star shape, okay? Can everybody show me a star shape? What does it look like? Looks like this. Good work. Everybody do a star shape. Awesome, okay. Boys and girls, this time we're going to go backwards, okay? We're gonna start by walking. Walking backwards in a circle. Good work, that's it. Turn around, go the other way. Good job, good job. Can we go a bit faster? Can we go a bit faster? And stop. Okay, I'm gonna pick up another card. Oh, this one, what is it, what is it? It's a Superman, okay. Everybody show me what a Superman looks like. That's it, you've got it. Down on your tummies and lift up like a Superman. Can we hold it for one banana, two banana, three banana, Four banana, five banana. Awesome work, great job. Okay, this time we're gonna go jumping. So let's go. Jumping, jumping, jump, 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 jump. That's it, can you change direction? Jumping, 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 jumping. And some really big ones. And stop. Okay, time for another card. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a motorbike landing. Can you remember this? I think we might have done this the other day. So motorbike landing, bend your legs. It's like you're sitting on a motorbike like this. Run, 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 run. Okay, motorbike, run, run, run. Good work. Okay, this time let's do, let's do our tippy toe walking with our twinkle fingers. That's it, good job. All the way around. 
Yeah, great work. And let's go back the other way. And stop. Need to pick up another card now. What is it? It's a straddle sit. Do you know what a straddle sit looks like? I bet you do. You're not getting it confused with an L sit, are you? Straddle sit is like a sitting star. Arms out, legs out, long backs, long necks. It's a straddle sit, don't forget to point your toes. Good work, guys. Okay, this time let's try some skipping. Let's see how we go. So step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. Good work. That's it. If you can go a bit quicker, you can go a bit quicker. That's it. If you want to swing your arms, you can swing your arms. And stop right there. All right. And let's go. Oh, this is a tricky one. It's a candlestick. Okay, so lying on our backs. And we're going to put our feet up in the air. Can you do that? Let's have a try. Candlestick, fish up in the air. Good work. That was a tricky one, wasn't it? Okay, are we ready? Let's do some hopping, okay? So let's see if we can lift one leg, lift one leg, and go hop, 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 switch legs, hop, 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 switch legs, hop, 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 and again, hop, 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 one more time. How did you go? Is your hopping getting better? I bet it is, okay. We're gonna pick up one, which one is it? <gasps> It's a rocket. What does a rocket look like? Show me a rocket, Sandy. Ready? And rocket. Oh, well done, boys and girls. That's super. Okay, this time we are going to do some side steps. Are you ready? So step, side steps. Okay, and if you want to, you can make them into a skip. That's it. And let's go the other way. We can step to start. And then side skips. That's it. And you can swing your arms if you want to. Good work and stop there. What have we got this time? It's a bridge. Okay. So we put our hands down on the ground and pick our bottoms up in the air. That's it. Great work. Did you manage it, guys? I bet you did. Awesome, okay, this time let's do, can we do some frog jumps? Okay, so we got up and down, 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 up and down. Okay, we've got, oh, an L sit. Okay, what does an L sit look like? Sitting down on our bottoms. <sighs> Great work. Make sure you've got your backs really nice and straight, long necks, and stretch up nice and tall. Good work. Okay, we've only got two left. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do our bear walks. Ready? Let's go. Good work. Keep going. Nice job. Oh, and I wonder what, which one we'll pick for the last one. What is it? It's a tuck sit. Can you do a tuck sit? That's it. If you need a great big hug. That's it. Big tuck sit. Oh, we can't leave this little card all on its own, can we? So we're going to do it anyway. And this one is can't really see it because the card's a bit crinkly. This one's a present, okay? So we haven't done much of these in our preschool classes, but when we finish our jumping jacks classes, when we get a little bit older, we do a present when we finish. So we stand with our feet together, we make a star shape with our, or a B star shape, or the letter Y with our hands, and we lift our chins up, and we twinkle our fingers, okay? That's a present, should we do that one more time? Arms up, chins up, and twinkle our fingers. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, so our bodies are nice and warm. 
All right, the next thing that we're going to do is lots of different variations on a table, okay? So if you need to grab a drink, boys and girls, go get one and get ready to do some table fun. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to have some fun with a table, okay? So can everybody show me what a table looks like? We didn't actually do this in our warm-up today. I don't know where the card for a table was, but we're going to do a table now. So everybody show me what a table looks like. That's it. Make sure your hands are facing your bottom and your fingers, your thumbs are flat on the ground. And then we lift our tummies up. That's it. And we've got to see if we can rest a cup of tea on our tummies, don't we? So if mums or dads want to push your tummy down and see if you can rest a cup of tea on it, cool. Well done. Okay, we're going to do our table one more time, just like that. And then we're going to try some different things with our table. Okay, so lifting our table up, lifting our tummies up. Hold it for one banana, two banana, three banana, four banana, five banana. Good work. Okay, this time we're going to see if we can lift one leg off the ground. Are you ready? So lifting up to our table and lift. And can you lift one leg off the ground? Or oh, can you make a big circle with it? That's it. Can you make a big circle the other way? Good job. And can you wiggle it around? And put it down. That's it. And pop down again. Good work. Guess what? Can you remember which leg you just did? I did this one. We're going to do this one next. Are you ready? So pushing up to a table, lifting our leg up, all the way up in the air. Don't drop that bottom. Lift it up now. Can you make a big circle with your leg? And can you go the other way? And can you wiggle it all around? Don't let your bottom fall down. And put your foot down. Yay, good work boys and girls. Great job. This time we're gonna see if we can lift one hand off. Okay, ready? So lifting up to our table, bit tricky. Can you lift one hand off? Oh, hold it, can you wave? Hi everybody, good work. Don't let that bottom drop. And put it down. Can you lift the other hand off? Wave, hey everybody. Keep your tummy nice and strong. Put it down. Okay, and have a little rest. Oh, shake your arms, my arms are aching a little bit. Good work, okay. This time, super, super tricky. We are going to see if we can lift one foot and one arm. Oh, I don't know if we can do that. Do you think you can do it? I reckon you might be able to. Are you ready? So lifting up to a table, taking off one foot and one arm. Oh, my bottom's still up in the air. Yeah, it comes down really quick. Let's try if we can do the other one. So I'm gonna take my arm off first this time and then my foot off. Oh, I'm oh, not so good that time. And put down. Okay, can you take both arms off? Oh, oh. Don't try that one. You might end up in a big heap. Like, okay, did you get yourself a wall? Cool. All right, so for the last part of our table fun, we are going to first put the wall down next to you. Okay, we're going to do a back support, which is a bit like a table but with straight legs. Okay, so we're going to sit in our L sit. We're going to make our two stop signs, put them down next to our bottom and lift our bottom in the air. Can you see how my legs are nice and straight? Yep, okay, let's try that again. So sitting in our L sits, putting our two stop signs next to our bottom and lift. Good, okay, can you get your ball? Okay, and I want you to put it at the top of your legs like this, like we do with our animals for warm up, okay? Now, make our L sit, two stop signs, put them next to your bottom and then Lift and see if you can make the ball roll all the way down your legs. Oh, mine's escaped. We're going to do that two more times. Are you ready? Put the ball at the top of your legs. Stretch up nice and tall in our l sits. Two stop signs. Hands next to our bottom. Lift and roll it down. Yay, good work. And last one, boys and girls. Okay, sitting on our bottoms. See how fast you can make it go this time. So you've got to lift up real quick. Put the ball up top, sit in our L sits, hands down next to our bottoms, lift up and go. <gasps> Yay, mine went super fast. Well done. So that's lots of table fun. So just doing that, our muscles have got lots stronger because we balanced on one arm, we balanced on one foot, okay? We've made our tummy muscles stronger by holding our bellies up in the air. And we've also learned to do a back support when we straighten our legs. So you've done some really, really awesome work today, boys and girls. We're going to move on to our 
circuits now and we've got lots of fun planned okay so if you want to go and grab a drink um while we get ready for the next bit do so come back with lots of energy ready to do our circuits all right boys and girls see you in a second all right guys for this next bit you will see that i've moved my mat a little bit okay and it's right next to my sofa and that's because we're going to do some donkey kicks and some squat-ons, okay? We've done these in class before. If you haven't done our classes before, that doesn't matter. Okay, but what you'll need for this one is you'll need your springy feet. So has everybody got their springy feet? Let's see if we've got our springy feet. So if your springy feet, cool. You're going to need a mum or a dad to help you with this bit, okay? So if they're not in the room, can you give them a call? Mum, dad, grandma, granddad, I need your help. Okay, so call them now. Cool, are they there? I hope so, because you can't do this one without them, okay? Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our two stop signs. And we've got, first of all, we're going to practice our bunny hop on the floor because um, we're doing donkey kicks on the sofa and our donkey kicks are like a bunny hop. So we're going to practice our bunny hop first. So get our two stop signs, put our hands down on the floor and let's kick our bottoms. Did you do it? Cool, let's try five. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. How did that go? Good, I'll try it one more time. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's a bunny hop, but when we do it for something that we call vault, it becomes a donkey kick. Okay, so if you've ever seen a donkey go, eh -oh, eh -oh, and they kick their feet behind them, that's why it's called a donkey kick, okay? So we're gonna get our two stop signs, and this is where we need our sofa. So we're gonna put our hands on the edge of the sofa, like this. And just like we did the bunny hop on the floor, we're going to do our donkey kicks. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. How did you go? Were they really good? Did you keep your feet together and kick your bottom? Well, if you didn't and you kicked with one foot, you've got to make sure that your feet are glued together. Okay, and if you didn't kick your bottom, so if you just did this, this time you have to try and kick your bottom with your feet. Okay, so are you ready? Let's go. Two stop signs, hands on the sofa, and kick, 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 kick. Great job. Okay, so we're gonna try that one more time, and then we're gonna turn it into a squat on. Okay, boys and girls, ready? So, two stop signs, hands on the sofa, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, are we ready to try and turn it into a squat on? I think so. All right, so you definitely need your mums and dads around for this bit. So if they disappear, can you get them back again, please? Okay, boys and girls, so if your mums and dads are with you, you can try this one. If they're not there, you can't do this one, okay? We're going to take our hands, we're going to put them on the sofa, we're going to do three donkey kicks and then we're going to see if we can jump our knees onto the sofa. Mums and dads, if you're in the room, just make sure they don't fall backwards, okay? And make sure that all furniture is out of the way. So ready, we're going to go one, two, three, onto our knees, okay? Can't really see very well, can we? So I need to pull my sofa out a little bit. So let's try it again. Hands, kick our bottoms three times. One, two, three, and onto our knees. Okay? I reckon some of you might have gone onto your tummies. If you did, that's okay. But we want to see if we can get two knees on the sofa. Okay? Let's try it again. Two stop signs. Hands on here. Kick our bottoms three times and then onto our knees. One, two, three, and onto our knees. How do we go? Yeah, I reckon you did super, super good. Okay, so that's the end of our bunny hop. Um, donkey kick onto the sofa. We get ready for our next part of our circuit, boys and girls. We are going to do football rolling. So are you ready to roll like a football? Okay, first thing I need you to do is we've got to learn how to be a football. Okay, so I want you to make yourself as small as you can. So if, we, if you joined in the other day and we made ourselves as small as a mouse, do you remember how we did that? We got down super, super small like this. 
and tuck everything in. Can you give your knees a hug? Can you tuck your heads right in? Did you do that? So you might be as little as a mouse, but you also might look a little bit like a football. Okay, so let's do that again. Let's make ourselves as small as a football. Cool. And can you see maybe how a football could roll across the floor? Okay, so we're going to start at the back like this. I'm going to start at the back of my mat. So if you've got to make sure you've got a little bit of room to do this because we don't want to hit anything, okay? And mums and dads need to watch. They don't go wonky. Okay, we're going to make ourselves as little as a football. And then we're going to roll. Let's it and roll again. So it's like a football rolling down a football pitch, isn't it? I'm going to try and go back the other way. So I'm going to make myself as little as a football, tuck my head in and roll up. Up. Oh dear, and I rolled off my mat. Up. Onto the carpet. Good work, boys and girls. Okay, we're going to do it a couple more times. I'm going to start in that corner. I'm going to see if I can roll all the way down to that corner. Okay, are you ready to make yourselves as little as a football? Ready and go. Try and keep your knees together. I don't care about it. That's it. Yay. Okay. And one more time. Are you ready? And let go. Good work. So that's our football rolling. Great work, everybody. Do you know what? I've just realized I've forgotten something in today's class. Can you remember what it is? Okay, does it look something like this? Did I forget to do our animal warm up? I reckon because we're not in the gymnastics studio, we can do it at any time. So we're gonna do that next. So if you'd like to go and get your small toy, okay, not a really big one, because this is very hard to do with a big toy, a smallish toy, then we will do our stretches now. Okay, go get your toy and be ready to do stretches. Okay, back. So I've got the bag of animals. <gasps> Have you got yours? What am I going to choose today? I've had the red frog and I've had the green platypus. What am I going to choose today? <gasps> Oh my goodness, it's the yellow bear. Now I know that the yellow bear is a big favourite with quite a few of our members. I can think of at least five children who always have the yellow bear every time. Okay, so boys and girls, can we sit in our butterfly with the yellow bear? Or with your toy, whatever you've got, and pop it on your feet. Can you flap your butterfly wings? That's it, and we're gonna put our noses on our animals. Are you ready? Let's go. Good job, I reckon. That's the closest I've ever got, boys and girls, or at least since I've been doing this. Okay, this time we're going to hold it for five seconds. Are you ready? Flap those butterfly wings first. And down we go. One, two, three, four, five. Up you go. That's it. And our last one, we're going to put our noses on our animals. Ready? And fast as you can. Let's go. Good work. Okay, sitting in our L sit, stretching up nice and tall. Let's take our animal. Let's go down our noses, down our tummies, down our legs, all the way to our feet. What do we do when we get to our feet? Tickle, 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 tickle. And all the way back up. And down our noses, down our tummies, down our legs, all the way to our feet. And tickle, 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 tickle. Good work. Okay, pop the animal at the top of your legs. Make it disappear. And let's do our rock and rolls. Good work. Oh, I nearly lost my yellow bag. I'm going to turn sideways, make sure you've got it really squeezed, and rock and roll, and sit back up again. Who did this? Oh. I reckon there was a few of you that did. Let's try it again. And roll the top of our legs, make it disappear, and rock and roll. Good work. Okay, popping the animal between your feet. Make sure that you're not going to hit anything behind you. Hey, Patrick, you think you can catch my animal? Are you ready? I'm going to see if Patrick can catch it. One, two, three. Oh, did you catch it? No. Let's try one more time. This is something that you can try with your mums or your dads or your brothers and sisters. Ready? Yay! Good work. Last one. Ready and go. Oh, my kick wasn't a very good one. Thank you for the help, Patrick. 
Oh, my yellow bag has gone flying. All right, the last thing that we're going to do for our animals is our rocket ship. So are you ready, boys and girls? Rocket ships, get ready. Prepare for blast off. And can you count really loudly? One, two, two three, three, four, five. Blast off. Did you catch it? Oh, I caught mine, but I bet you didn't catch yours. Can you try and catch it this time? Ready? Rocket ships, get ready. Prepare for blast off. Loud counting. One, two, three, four, five. Blast. Oh, I dropped my yellow bed. Blast off. Good work. All right, guys. Can you come and pop your animals away in the bed? Good work. All right. We've done some awesome stretching. We can now go back to our circuit. Hmm, wonder what we're going to do next. We are going to, so you're going to need a few little animals. So I'm going to keep my red bag, okay? But you need a bit of a bucket or a basket to be able to put some, put your animals in with this next activity. So can you go and get about ooh, five, five or six little toys, little animals, um, and a basket that you can put them in, okay? Once you've done that and grabbed a little drink, we'll be back for some more circuit fun. All right, guys? Cool. See you soon. All right, boys and girls, I've got my basket here, okay, which I'm going to pull it right there. So just so that you can still see it, but it's not in the way, okay? And I've got all my animals, and I'm going to put them up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to run. We're going to pick up an animal out of the bag over there. We're going to put it between our feet, and we're going to see if we can jump with it between our feet all the way up to the basket, Take it out, put it back in there, run back and get another one. Okay, and we're going to see if we can do it seven times. Are you ready? So, let's go. Oh, which one have I got? Oh, I'm going for the yellow bear again. I'm going to put it in between my feet. And let's go, jump, 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 all the way to the basket. That's it. Put it in the basket and run back. Oh, this one, what time have I got? Oh, got the blue turtle this time. Put it between my feet. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 and that's it, put it in the basket. That's number two. Run back. Oh, oh, what am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? Oh, green monkey this time. Green monkey in between my feet. And let's go jump, 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 jump. That's it, put it in the basket. Let's go get another one. Oh, what am I gonna get this time? Oh, my very favourite, the red frog. Or the red crab, I think that a couple of you call it. Put it in between my feet. Let's go, jump, 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 jump. I've got four in my basket now. We've got three more to go. Are you ready? Run it back. Oh, I'm going for the, oh, orange elephant. If he's trying to escape, put it in between my feet and jump, 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 jump. Put him in the basket. I've got two more to go. That's it. Oh, I'm going for the purple pig this time. In between my feet and jump, jump. Excellent work, I've got one more to do. Ho oh, ho ho ho, the big pink pig. Okay, put him between my feet, this might be a bit trickier. And jump, 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 jump. Yay, and I've got all my animals in the box. How did you guys go? That puffed me out a little bit, I think, boys and girls. Okay, so that's our jumping stations done today. We are going to do some balance beam next, okay? So if mums or dads want to put some masking tape on the floor to make a balance beam, or if you've got a balance beam at home, you can get it out. Or if you want to use a skipping rope to make a line on the floor, or if you want to make two rows of animals down the side and you have to do your work between the middle, okay? You're going to need something to balance on your head. You're going to need your basket again, okay? Or a cone if you've got one, all right? And we're gonna have lots of fun, all right? You get, get, get that stuff, I'm going to grab a big drink and we're back in a second. Okay, boys and girls, I've got my balance beam ready to go. I've also got my little hoop for balancing on my head. I've got some cones, which I'm going to put along the beam to step over. And I've got my little animals and my box, okay? So what we're going to do first is we're just going to remember what it feels like to walk on the balance beam. So you're going to stand on it. Oh. I've forgotten. We're going to walk on our tippy toes if we can, all the way along. Good work. And when we get to the end, we're going to go backwards, all the way back again. Can you do that? 
I reckon you can. Okay. Whoa, I can't. Damn me. Okay, good work. Okay, this time we're going to get our thing that we're going to balance on our head. We're going to put it on top of our head, put our arms out. We're going to see if we can walk along without it falling off. Good job. Okay, and when you get to the end, if you want to, tricky. Actually, we'll turn sideways. Let's go sideways and see if we can walk sideways. Oh, good job. Nice work. And can we go the other sideways? Whoa, I fell off. It's not cool. Other sideways. And then our last one, trickiest one. Can we go backwards? Whoa, that might be a bit super tricky. I reckon you guys are clever enough to do it though. Well done. And I'm at the end. Yay, good job. Okay, this time I'm going to put my cones on the beam. And I'm going to see if I can step over them. Okay, so starting at this end. Oh, oh, step over. Step over. No falling off. Step over. Step over. Yay, well done. Good job. Let's see if we can do that again. And step over. Step over. Oh, make sure you're using a different leg every time you step over. Step over, boys and girls. Because you'll have one leg that likes to go first all the time. You have to make sure that you're using both of them, okay? And last one, one more time. Step over. Step over. Step over. Step over. Yay, good work. Okay, I'm going to take the cones off now. Now, I didn't, I didn't ask you to get this when we started the class, okay? So you might need to pause it and see if you can go get it. I want you to see if you can go and grab a chair. Okay, and we're going to see, <laughs> I can't fit, you're going to see if you can crawl, slide through on your tummy, underneath your chair like this. Oh, <laughs> my bottom's got stuck. Okay, <laughs> good work. And then when you get out, I want you to see if you can crawl along your balance beam, okay? Good work, okay, we're gonna go back to the start, but I'm not gonna go under the chair this time. Oh, that was a bit tricky and I didn't really fit, but we are going to see if we can crawl along again. Okay, can you do that without falling off? Good work, excellent. Okay, good job. This time, we're gonna get our animals and we're gonna put them on the balance beam Like this and we're going to put the box here and we're going to walk along and see if we can throw the animals into the box so climbing up I'm picking up the monkey first seeing if I can throw him in the box yay I did it next one picking up the elephant throwing him in the box yay picking up the pig throwing him in the box yay and the last one picking up the bear and throwing him in the box how did you do boys and girls did you do really well? I bet you guys did. So we've done lots of balance beam stuff today, haven't we? It's been super, super fun. All right, guys, we're coming to the end of our class now. We've just got bubbles. And what's your favorite thing to do before we finish? So if you want to put all your equipment away and find your bubbles, then we can do our bubbles. All right, guys, well done today. You've been super, super good. And you've done everything really, really well. I'm very proud of you. Okay, see you soon. Just before we do our bubbles, is it anybody's birthday this week? I reckon there are probably some birthdays this week. So just before we finish, we're going to sing happy birthday to everybody, okay? Are you ready? We're going to sing, we're going to sing happy birthday to you, to anybody whose birthday is this week, all right? And then we're going to do three cheers at the end. Are you ready? After three, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to anybody whose birthday is this week. Yay! Happy birthday to you. Three cheers, hip hip, hooray. Hip hip, hooray. Hip hip, hooray. Oh, well done. Hope you have lots of nice cake and got, get lots of prezzies and have super, super fun on your birthday, boys and girls, you deserve it. All right, it's time for our bubbles now. Are you ready? Let's go. Yay. Good work. 
me chase them, can you catch them? If mums and dads say you can't have bubbles inside, then you have to listen to them and do them outside, okay? I'm only doing them inside because I've got a mat for them to land on. Catch the bubbles, catch the bubbles. Good work, boys and girls. Okay, should we sit down on the line for our stickers and snaps? If you've got stickers and snaps, you can do them, all right? Sitting on the line, sitting in our tuck sit. Oh, we can sit like this. What was your favorite thing today, boys and girls? Mm, mine was, I quite like the football rolling and I like the table balancing work. Okay, what was your favorite thing today? Super. As long as you have a favorite thing, that's all that matters. All right, boys and girls, well, that's the end of our class for today. We're going to see you again really soon when we make another one, all right? Between now and then, though, you make sure you have lots of fun, stay safe, and do keep doing gymnastics. See you, boys and girls.